Hello and welcome to my channel, C7, the HOA Homesteader. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to waterproof my beehive box. Boxes. <clears throat> and so I decided to take you guys along with me on my little journey in doing so. So let me grab my gloves. And these beehive boxes that you can see right behind me. I'm going to move them outdoors, put them on a pallet and uh, begin the process. So stay tuned. Well, I got my boxes all outdoors down. Uh, I mean, this is where I plan on, at least initially, uh, setting up the hives. Not sure if I should leave them out here. I really don't want to capture, <laughs> capture a, a wild hive. I just want to stain them, waterproof them, Get them ready and order a new. But if I leave them out here to dry, because I already got the pop, uh, frames the pop with popsicle sticks, sticks on the patio, so it shouldn't attract any bees without the uh, without the beeswax. So uh, I'm hoping I can just leave them out here to dry without that happening. Let me get this thing set up on a tripod, get an angle where maybe you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully, you will be able to see what I'm doing. We'll go from there. All right, people, get ready to get started. This is the coating I decided to use. It's called Vermont Natural Coating, and I'm not endorsing this item. I'm just simply showing you what I decided to use. So let's get started. shake it up for me at the store before I walk out. Alright. I understand you gotta be quick. Gotta put at least two coatings on it. You need to do it quick. the inside of the boxes. Don't want anything in there disturbing the bees and their sense of smell. Let them do what they do on the inside. Last 
identify that make contact with the local beekeeping association here in Tampa. It's called the Tampa Bay Beekeepers Association, TBBA. The president called me and I asked him a few questions. And of course, he answered the I was like, is it too late for me to get bees this season? And he was like, oh, matter of fact, no. He said, we should have a meeting coming up second Thursday in March and uh, second Saturday. They do hands-on. So hopefully we still have the meeting so I can get out and do a meet and greet and meet some of the people. Really looking forward to that hands on that following Saturday. So, just as our mentor led Farmer 73 as a justice, give it to local people and, and get educated through them. Also, if you could, wasn't able to make their class, that's what I chose to do. Instead of letting it dry and do a second coat, you want to do the second coat while it's still wet. So that was my fourth side. Now I'm just going to start over. Do it again. As I started this journey last May in 2020, gardening, I wouldn't even have thought that less than a year I would have decided to be able to become a beekeeper as well. So, let's never say what you want to do or what you think you, yeah, I, I'll never do that. You might find yourself eating those words once you get interested in something. You just, start to grow and start doing more and more each time and why not it's only going to be beneficial to uh, my family very interested in all this type of stuff always have been and now i just needed that little push and thanks to people on youtube such as lead farmer 73 which i mentioned earlier and all the other people that belong to our facebook group way to doing something I never thought I'd do. Thank you, folks. Well, while that one's drying, I'm going to go ahead and knock out a few more. There's no need in showing you guys uh, me doing each and every box. Just in that short amount of time, I quickly realized uh, doing my second box, I need to get here. Come back and start to kill me. So, if you are not just up in age such as myself, make sure you get your work area set up just the way you be comfortable and make this easy. Don't make it hard. You make it hard, you're not going to want to do it. Don't feel like it's too much work. Keep it as simple as you can. Finished product. Got it all 
proofs, just waiting for it to dry. Didn't take long, maybe 35, 40 minutes. I, I really didn't time it to do five boxes, two lids, and uh, one of these. Still got another one on the patio, so I think I might as well stain that too. But I do know you're not supposed to try not to get any of this on the uh, inside. So I only did the edges, not anything where the bee is going to actually fall across all the time. Uh, we know they can get on the outside of the boxes and stuff, but you guys, you know what I mean. And so, you don't, you don't put this stuff on your frames for sure. And that's all I have. A little 35, 40 minute project. I had to go and get me a chair. My back was hurting. So, once again, preparation, prep, you know what you need. You need support like I did. Get it, make yourself comfortable, knock out a pass. Like I said earlier, you don't want to make it where it's difficult or you feel like you're exerting too much energy. You'll get disappointed and maybe quit. We don't need any quitters out there. We need you guys, once you decide to do these projects, to take it to completion. I'm glad you guys came here with me today. This is C7, the HOA Homesteader, and you too. Okay, grow your own food, even if you live in the HOA.